All right, it's about 2 a.m. I was tinkering around with the Xbox 360 encoder. This is a legitimate controller that allows you to plug in an arcade device, like buttons and stuff, and it automatically authenticates on the Xbox 360. So I plugged in this uh, spinner as a test just to see what would happen. I'm tinkering around. I probably had too many connections plugged in at the same time and this thing started smoking. So hopefully it should work. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and try to plug it back in right now. Hey, what is going on everyone? This is KDK Keel Dykin and welcome back to the channel. So in front of us today, we have the SJ Add JX encoder board. This supports the Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch, PS3, the Raspberry Pi, Android, and I think it also supports a couple of other units. You can also hook this up into your PC as well. But at any rate, um, I bought this because I wanted to do a follow-up video to something I made a few months ago. And so I had theorized that this would probably work with the Chrono Zen. In fact, what this allows you to do is plug in your arcade buttons directly into an Xbox 360 or one of these other type of devices that I mentioned without the use to authenticate it using a controller. Now, if you guys have watched my Chrono Zen videos and Chrono's Max, you have to plug in inside the Chronos Max or the Chronos Zen, you have to plug it in to authenticate the device and then plug in something else if, right here if you want it to read. Or if you're using the Chronos Max, for example, I don't have it in front of me, you have to plug it in, uh, <clears throat> you have to plug it into the original controller directly into the unit and then plug this in uh, in order for it to read or have it authenticate. However, um, after doing some tinkering and some testing, I found out that this does not put out an authentic signal. In fact, here's the Chrono Zen in front of me. I have the JS uh, SJ JX encoder board plugged in. And so uh, this is one of the reasons why I've said before, you have to be careful about a lot of fight sticks and, and controllers that are out there because in a situation like this, I thought that this would put out an authentic signal. And unfortunately the Chrono Zen determined otherwise. Now I did alert the Chrono Zen team about this because uh, I was just wondering at the time, wasn't familiar with this, that's why I bought it. If you could plug this in directly into your Xbox 360, is it truly putting out a authentic signal where you don't have to authorize anything? And unfortunately, it's not. The reason why this is very important is because supposedly, what if you guys went out and bought an arcade fight stick? It plugs directly into an Xbox 360 or another type of device, however, it doesn't it doesn't work with your Chrono Zen because that detects it. And then also uh, PlayStation 5 and I think Xbox One, you know, those, they're really cracking down on what you can use as an authentic controller. Uh, case in point, here I have in front of me, this is the original Xbox 360 controller. Uh, this wouldn't be labeled as, well, it's an authentic controller, but it wouldn't be used as an authorizing type of device if you're using it for your Xbox 360 or something because you need to use a wire connection. However, we do have an Xbox One Elite controller. This is an authentic controller. But however, I also have this one. Now this is, I think I picked this up, or actually my wife got this for me. But um, this is another type of PC controller. It looks like it's an Xbox controller, right? However, this does not detect or is not authorized as an authentic controller. And uh, you guys won't typically see this kind of stuff because you won't know until you plug it in. The Chronos Zen to tell you what it is, the Chronos Max, in fact, even your Raspberry Pi unit when you guys are setting that up, it will tell you what type of controller really is. And so uh, this is detected as a Logitech Afterglow. However, it's not detected as an authentic Microsoft controller board. So um, I did get this plugged in, tested around with it. You know, the buttons do work and everything. But I was really unfortunate. I was really thinking that, uh, hoping that this would be, uh, this would put out an authentic uh, signal. However, uh, it doesn't. Now the cool thing is this does still work as it's intended as its own separate device. Uh, this will perfectly serve the purpose for what I wanted to use it for. Um, I got tired of plugging in and uh, unplugging my Kronos Max when I turned my arcade unit on and off. That's how I played Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and a lot of other arcade games uh, in my arcade cab. 
So as long as I'm able to plug in all of my buttons, uh, this will work and interface directly with my Xbox 360, no problem. Uh, I'm still having some difficulties with the arcade joystick as far as the movement and whatnot, but as far as the buttons, they definitely work uh, pretty fine. But um, other than that, I mean, I'm really happy with this. And, you know, again, that's something you guys need to be, you know, concerned about. Um, I do believe this is probably equivalent to my Mad Cats controller that I bought. Um, that is an authentic Xbox 360 controller. However, I cannot use that to authorize any other non-Xbox controller on the device. So let's say if I plug in that Mad Cat fight stick and plug in, a, let's say, a PlayStation controller here, it won't work. It, it, it won't read at all. However, if I plug in an actual authentic Xbox controller here um, and then want to authorize another device, that'll work. So, again, just wanted to make this point of reference for all of you out there. You know, when you're using a fight stick or a controller, um, especially now with these new next-gen systems, it's very vital to make sure that you have an authentic controller. That is if you carry, uh, care about those type of things. But um, this device, I think I got it for about $24. Definitely works as it's intended. I mean, it's good if you guys have a, a Nintendo Switch, um, PS3. PS3 isn't too hard to really emulate. I think this also may work for PS4. I don't remember, but um, I, I definitely know that it works for the Xbox 360. And they've also released some firmware updates too that would also help you with your emulation. Um, as far as some additional updates and, and whatnot is concerned about it. Now the instructions for this was very easy. In fact, as soon as you plug this in, it's defaulted for Xbox 360. Um, I can't honestly see why somebody would need this for PS3 for the most part, because that kind of accepts, <coughs> excuse me, that kind of accepts any form of controller, you know, for the most part. But yeah, I was uh, just kind of sad to know that this was not an authentic controller. I was just gonna do some tinkering and whatnot, but I'm glad to buy this and I do this kind of video for you guys because um, this will work. Now, this may work. Um, this is not the Kronos Max. I'm just using this as an example. But um, if I did have the Kronos Max in front of me, this would work in conjunction with the Kronos Max because the Kronos Max, the Titan 2, I believe the Zim Apex, those should all work. Well, I know for a fact the, the Titan 2 and the Kronos Max all work with uh, non-authentic controllers. So if you guys have a fight stick or something of that nature, uh, you guys will be fine uh, on that end. But um, and anyway, just wanted to keep you guys keep you guys updated as far as what I found out. I'll use this for some additional projects. And um, it did take me a while to find out which buttons were listed on here. I believe there's like two different sets of uh, A, B, X, and Y if I'm using this for Xbox. Had them plugged in over here, then I had to plug them back over here. Uh, that's where I maintain consistency. So uh, that's the only issue I've had with this because I did follow the diagram online and it really didn't add up. I had to experiment it, you know, experiment for myself, plug it into the Xbox and kind of tinker around with it uh, that way. So, um, but yeah, hit like and subscribe. Just wanted to keep you guys updated as far and give you guys a follow up as in regards to this. I mean, other than that, like I said, it's a cool device, but it doesn't authenticate. It's not an authentic uh, signal uh, with the Chrono Zen. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Have a great day.